So now that my calibration file and my data log are open and ready to go, we're going to jump into our graph templates and then we're going to be taking a look at this data now, plot it in these windows. So these are going to be the different graph templates that we had from our previous video here. We're going to be adding a few more graph templates in this video, but let's take a look at these basic ones and evaluate the data that's in here and understand what's going on. So we can see here, looking at this particular window, that we have engine RPM, we have ignition timing, we have air fuel corrected, and then we have our map pressure. And what we're going to be finding here, if we just kind of look at all of the data plotted here, our map pressure is really scrunched down here at the bottom and doesn't, it's not really easy to see. So if we want to change the resolution scale on this, we want to be able to make it easier to see. So if we're evaluating our ignition timing, for example, here, it's very easy to see and it's displayed and the scale here is uh, going from zero to probably about 50 degrees. So right now 30 degrees is about in the middle here and it, it displays this very nicely. The same goes with engine RPM here. We're going to be seeing that the top of the resolution scale is showing here at 9,000 RPM. We're at 85, 8,600. So we have a, the, the trace here is able to fit inside the scale. But if we look here, um, scrolling through the different parts, we're going to be seeing that we definitely don't have the air fuel corrected optimized for the scale or the map sensor pressure here. It's going to be scrunched down. So what we can do if we jump into options here, into sensors, we jump into our map pressure here, we're going to see display max. The display max is going to be the highest point on the resolution scale here, and it's set for 1456 PSI. That's completely unrealistic. So if we set this to something more useful, maybe something like 20 PSI, and we click close, we can see now that the scale of the map sensor in this window is going to be much more appropriate and easier to read. So that's going to be something that we always want to do. Now we can leave our air fuel corrected alone or we can tweak that scaling a little bit if we jump into options, into sensors. We'll be looking for our air fuel corrected. If we jump down here, we're going to see air fuel corrected. And we see the scale max here is at 40. If we set it to something like 30, we click close, you can see that this is going to be a little bit easier to read. It's going to start coming up towards the middle of the screen. But we can leave this alone. 30, zero, going from zero to one air fuel to 30 to one, that'll be a sufficient range to plot here on our window. So we'll leave that alone, uh, not changing the max beyond 30. So looking at the actual data in here, we can see a bunch of things that we need to be aware of. The first thing is here, we see our engine RPM trace, and we can see that it stops here right around 85, 8600. But if we look up at the top, of the actual curve.